Did you all know that there are almost 4,000 NPCs in Old School RuneScape? Like a couple of the ones I'm standing near right now. We have the Town Crier and the Cleaner. He's on the other side of the wall here. Today I want to share with you all some interesting NPC mechanics that you may have never seen or may have never known about. For example, did you know that the Cleaner NPC, this guy right here, located in the Eastern Varrock Bank, has a hidden talent? If you guys drop ashes around him, he will actually come over and sweep them up. So I'm going to show you that right now. I have a few ashes in my inventory. I'm going to wait till he comes over here, drop them, and he's going to actually sweep them up. How interesting is that? Did you guys even know that? Oh, he just actually walked over that one. Well, let's see if he cleans these up. Gone. See? Sweeps them up. I bet you guys had no idea. I actually discovered this one day when I saw someone fire making outside of the bank here and the ashes started appearing once the fires disappeared and this guy just started walking by and sweeping them up and I was dumbfounded. I had no idea he had this hidden mechanic in him. It's an NPC that you can actually you actually can't even talk to him and you would never have known that he has this mechanic. Next up we're in Draenor Village where I don't know if you guys knew this I had no idea but you can actually talk to this tree. I don't know if you guys knew that there's actually a little dialogue here and if you have stew in your inventory i have stew right now he will actually take the stew from you for 30 gp and once he finishes his stew the bowl will actually drop on the ground and for some reason you can swing your axe on the tree but you can't knock it down so let's talk to him again and you can just keep selling him stew for 30 gp not a good money maker because I believe stew is worth more than 30 GP, but it's uh, pretty cool. I had no idea that there was a guy hanging out in the tree. So the reason why this guy's up in the tree is because he's trying to observe a suspect in the bank robbery, which that suspect is, if you guys remember, wise old man who did break in to the Draenor Bank, and that's why there's the patched wall here. And actually sticking with Draenor Village, there's an NPC over here in the chair. Miss Schnism, I believe that's her name. If you talk to her, you, act, you can actually spy on the wise old man's house. You just go through the dialogue here, tell her you're quite new, and she'll let you take a sneak peek inside of his house. Look at the picture. The wise old man knows you're spying on him. Some no more dialogue. She knows that he is the one who robbed the bank. So we look at some scrolls here, his desk. Just doing a bunch of snooping. I can actually zoom out. That's cool. And she's convinced that that he's the one that planned the robbery and actually robbed the bank. And the third and last NPC that I want to show you in Draenor Village is the bank guard. So if you talk to him, skip through a little bit of a dialogue here, and you ask to see the recording, he'll show you the bank recording. It's quite long. That's okay. Let's check out the recording. So you can actually watch the bank robbery in progress. Don't know how there's a recording here. There's no cameras in RuneScape. if you guys have ever seen or watched the bank robbery recording but that's pretty cool see the wise old man exiting teleporting people the heck out of there and you're gonna blast a hole into the wall you're gonna come in behind the bank disguise there, huh? He's gonna start KOing these people. And he just knocks out a random character. He's just pummeling these people. Telegrabbing, 
taking that loot. He took the, oh, that's how he got the blue party hat. Strike and kick in the nuts. And then he blows off the security camera. End of recording. Okay, and I know I actually said that was going to be the last NPC in Drano Village, but we'll actually do something with the wise old man too, since he has some unique things with him. So if you just talk to him, do more options, and he can actually check out junk in your bank. So that's cool if you have not a lot of inventory space, but Actually, sorry, if you don't have a lot of bank space, it tells you what's a free item and what's a member's item. So all these things here are member's items. You can actually just remove them and you can destroy them or drop them. And if you talk to him again, he can give you a task. He needs a lumps of iron ore. That would be nice. He needs nine of them. So we'll head back over to him with the nine iron ore. And he actually gives you random rewards. So as you see here, he just gave me a bunch of runes. It's not worth it though, 283 GP, and we gave him nine iron ore. It's probably like, I don't know, 1K. So by talking to him and having him give you a uh, quest, I guess, a little mini quest of items to retrieve, it can be, it could be various small little things um, that you could just buy from the Grand Exchange. And in exchange, he'll give you upwards of 100 coins to like 1k they'll give you one of each gem he can give you a bunch of runes you just saw he can give you some herbs some grimy herbs one to ten the craziest one is he could give you 10 rainar herbs which is 60k so that's huge and he can give you a bunch of seeds um none of the actually good expensive ones so let's see what our next task would be from him he wants arrowheads Bring me six. I don't have that, but it's cool. It's a, and then I'm sure many of you know this next one. It's a very common one. This actually helps me get 99 farming is if you come over here, you can actually pay, actually any patch, you can pay the NPCs near it. You can pay any NPC near a herb tree patch, hops patch, anything like that to watch over your patch. You just pay them the required quantity of items. So for this example, I'm using mahogany saplings, which is a hardwood, and I'm paying the squirrels near it, the Yanel hops. So I just select option to pay, 200 coins, plant my tree, come over here, pay the squirrel, disease free, this thing will never die, they'll watch it for you, and you have no problem, you just come back over here and you check its health and you collect the XP, kill the tree, do it again. That's how I got 99 farming, 21 million, almost 22 million XP, and still no pet. Now this one is another common one. I'm sure you guys all know. You can chew away and you can pet the stray dog. But did you know you can actually give the dog bones too? And he's happy. He's a good little boy. The uh, little homeless stray Varrock dog. And then you scare him away. Poor thing. I'm assuming it's the same as the Voldemort dog. You can actually give him bones too, I would assume. So if you start here at the Guardians of the Rift under the Wizard Tower, Fairy Ring DIS, come into here, the mini game, travel with this catalytic guardian. If you remember coming here during Des Desert Treasure 2, you'll see the leeches here. So the cool thing about the leeches is if you actually use any sort of item on them, are you sure you want to use this? You cannot retrieve it back. Yes, give it to him. Feed it. He eats it. And now look, his name is Rune Skimitar Ornament Kit Ceridoman Leech. So this was the longest named RuneScape item in the game until it was trumped by what item was it? The Trailblazer Relic Hunter Tier 1 Armor Set. So this was a 38 character item. And now that new one is a 40 character item. But yeah, you can feed these leeches anything. I've seen people feed them crazy expensive items. Um, I don't know if you guys knew you could do that, but it does ask you twice, and it does tell you that you cannot retrieve your item ever again. So it's a this uh, monster is now a Rune Skimitar Ornament Kit Ceridome and Leech. Level 32. I think if you kill him, it gets reset. 
For this next one, you're going to want to teleport to Remington. Well, I don't know if you actually want to do this, but I'm just showing you. So you teleport to Remington above the witch's house here. Go upstairs. You can actually find Anja. I think that's her name. You can actually pickpocket her like a normal NPC. You can get three coins or you can go through this extremely long dialogue here. You can ask her for some free shit instead of thieving her. And she'll give you some GP. She just gave me two. So she gives you, I believe, between one and three. Hoping for some free stuff. Beg, beg, beg. Go through the dialogue. Real long dialogue. And there you go. She just gave me two more GP. Or you could just pickpocket her. And get some GP. But, I mean, there's way better money makers than, than doing this. But, interesting that they threw this into the game with only one NPC having this dialogue and none of the other ones. Let's see, can we talk to Hangle? No, he just gets angry at you. No free shit from him. Now the last NPC mechanic, I don't expect anyone to know this was a thing that plays RuneScape now, maybe 20 years ago it was a thing, but um, it can be found in the Waterbirth Island dungeon. So this god awful place to get through. If you talk to Bardor, Bardor, I think that's his name. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, he'll give you a cooked shark in exchange for any Fremnic item. So that's blade, shield, or the helmet. So right now I have a Fremnic shield in my bank, uh, inventory. So if you go over and talk to him, he's been fighting these monsters down here since RuneScape's inception. You can have a quick conversation with them. And um, he does need some weapons and armor. So he'll give us... He'll toss us a shark our way, which I think he needs it more than we do. But let's go ahead and use the shield on him. Wish to trade it for a cooked shark, yes. And boom, that Fremnic shield turned into a shark. So this was probably convenient back in the day when you're you're killing, um, I don't know, monsters down here and you're running low on food and you don't want to bank and you've gotten some weapons that you can't sell because there's no grand exchange. Actually, can't even sell them anyways because these aren't tradable. But you don't want a high outcome, so you come down here, talk to Bardor, and you give him your Fremnic weapon for a shark. I guess that was helpful back in the day when shark was valuable.